To begin the dress form preparation, I will be ruling my starting point. That's my starting line. I'll take that to be my shoulder line. I'll measure my shoulder. Before I do that, I have to divide this into two. So I have the center line. So this is like the midpoint of all my measurements. So beginning with the shoulder line, I'll divide my shoulder into two. My shoulder is um, 15. So I'll be marking seven and a half on both sides like that. So that's for my shoulder measurements. The next thing I'll take measurement for, I'm going to mark my bust point and my bust point my half length so at the bust point measurement i'll put my bust measurement half of it on both sides so the same thing i'll put the measurement for my waist divided by two on both sides so the waist measurement and divided by two then i'll position it on both sides that is my waist is 30 divided by 2, 7, uh, 15. So I'll be having 7.5 on both sides of the waist measurement. So I'm coming down to my bust point. So I'll be putting my bust pan measurement 7. That is putting 3.5 3 on both sides. That's for my bust pan. Then my neck measurement, the wideness of my neck, I'll put that there. That's 6. Three, three on both sides and I'll measure two inches up and then reduce it by half inch on both sides so that will give me my neck point then I'll slant down with one inch from the shoulder line so once I've slant down I'll mark my bust point my shoulder to bust line rather so I'll be connecting from the waist to the bust point the waist to the bust point then on the bust line part i'll just make a dotted line to be able to make my ham hole so once i've done that i'll connect it up to my bust line so i'll bring down the shoulder measurements half of the shoulder to bust line i'll mark it there and go in by half inch then i can now use my french curve to connect from the shoulder the slant on the shoulder to the bust line so that will give me my ham hole so that is what we have there we have the ham side so from the neck to the shoulder half of it just mark the midpoint and connect it to the bust point so that is what we have there so that's our bust point measurement there. So the same thing, take away half inch at the waist and connect it down there. So this will give us the front part of the dress form. So I want to have um, the, the cup, breast cup. So for me to do that, I will just measure my under bust measurement, mark it. Then from the bust point to under bust measurement, whatever I have there, I'll use it as my radius. I'm having like three and a half. So I'll keep marking three and a half all the way around. Just keep giving it a dotted point. Remember, from your bust point line to your under bust measurement, whatever it gives you, use that as a radius to keep marking round. So mine, I got three and a half. So keep marking it around. Do the same thing. Then you can use your French curve to connect the points. Keep connecting the points round until you have a complete curve. So this gives us an idea of um, the bust area. So this is what we have here. So once I'm done, I'll do the same thing for the second side. So at this point now we have the front panel for the dress form. So we we'll cut this out now. So 
So this is what we have for the front panel. So now that we've done this, I'll be gluing this to a carton. So just get a carton, spread it out, and use your glue to glue the drafted pattern paper on the carton like what you see me do. So this will do it for the front panel. So once we've done this, just pick your glue, spread some lightly and make sure your glue is not a colored glue so that it doesn't stain your drafted um, pattern paper so do that and then place spread your glue around it and then place your pattern paper like what you see me doing So this is what we have here now so allow it to get dry and the next thing we'll do will be cutting this out so cut the edges of the carton like that so keep cutting cutting it neatly and ensure your cutting is smooth and neat We have the finished dress form for the front pattern so ensure the gum around the edges or the glue is is done smoothly so this is what we have now so the next step will be to do the back end panel so bring out the drafting paper, spread it out. I'll be preparing the back pattern or the back panel. So like the front panel, I'm going to create a, a center line. The center line and then all my measurements will be divided into the sections of this line. So I'll be taking the measurement. That will be my center point. So that's the center line. I'll mark my starting points at the top. So I put the measurement for shoulder, seven and a half on both sides. And then I'll be marking down my That's my bust point. And then the next line I'll be marking will be the half length. So that is what we have there. So on that bust line or bust point line, I'm going to be putting my bust measurements there. And then on the third line is going to be my waist line. Because this is actually a half length um, dress, dress form. So my waist measurement divided by 2, that's um, 30. So I'll be marking 7.5 um, on both sides. So mind you, I will not be adding any seam allowance to this. So I'll put the same for my waist measurement there. So the waist measurement divided by 2 and then position it on both sides. So that's what we have there. Connect the waist to the post. So slant. That's my measurement from the shoulder to my post line to create my ham hole. I'll just mark that point. I'm using a nine inches for this. So once I've marked the point, I'll be 
put in my neckline so for the neck i use six so three three on both sides and then at the upper part i put two and a half two and a half on both sides that's going up with two inches like that so i'll slant with one inch just one inch from the neckline down that's the wideness of your neckline so once i've done that i'll take the midpoint of the shoulder to the bust line measurement just give a mark there that's it then go in with half inch and then i'll connect with my french cuff from the shoulder to the bust line the same thing on the other side from the shoulder to the bust line like that so that will give me the panel for the back so i'll insert my bust span for the that measurement so do the same at the waist minus a half inch from the boss pan and connect it so the shoulder half point from the slant the midpoint just connect it like that so this will give us the panel for the back bodies so this is a dress form for the back bodies so the neckline we can decide to choose any neckline of our choice so i'll just be creating um, a, a, a shallow and a deeper neckline so that's just it prepare your own neckline any neckline of your choice i'm using a plunge neckline at the back like that connect it to the midpoint so you can use any one of your choice either a higher neckline or a deeper neckline at the back so this gives us the panel for the back so we can cut this out like that Once we're done cutting, we're going to position this at the back on the carton like that. So the same thing we did for the front panel, that's what we'll be doing for the back panel. So position it, use our glue to glue it and then that's it for the back panel. So you have to use um, a nylon, a soft nylon to lay over the, the body form like this. So you do it for both the front and the back panel and then you need to use um, a cellotape, transparent cellotape to tape everything round. So this is a finished look of the body form. You can see the tape round. So tape it round like that for both the front and the back panel of the dress form. So this is what we 